Quad 66. I think we have a potential little motor here. Um, this is a motor that I knew about forever and forgot about, and then um, unfortunately didn't include it in the 2S uh, thrust test, uh, uh, thrust and uh, response testing. And then I decided, well, let me just take a flyer on it because they're only um, nine bucks a piece from LDARC, and I ordered them. So specifically, these are they're 1103 7,800 kV. They report them at uh, 4.2 grams. And these have uh, the two millimeter hole on nine or two millimeter hole on a nine millimeter diameter, so the standard. And um, they've been around forever. Um, a lot of people has, has recommended them in the past, but I shied away from them because they are a uh, four gram motor. Actually, on my scale, they came in at 3.8 grams, the same as the AMAX 1103s. And I was worried about them before because they had short wires and were a little on the heavier side than when I was looking at. Um, and also I was more interested in 1S stuff at, the, at that point in time. But they're supposed to be, you know, quality motors and they're made by Sunny Sky. And these motors are nice and notchy. And it's a nice, like, fine kind of um, fine resolution notchiness. Um, they show it better on their pictures, but these have, oh, you can see it there. They've got um, some curve to the magnet. They do have, they don't have the naked bottom, they do have a little bit of support, maybe that's good for um, a little bit of durability. Um, but, uh, so anyways, I, you know, I took a flyer on them. Shipping didn't take too long from LDRC, which was kind of nice. And so I mounted them up on a twin. I like building twins, because I like to compare stuff side to side. So, got them on twin um, Warpig 115s. The only main difference is um, so this one I've got the AMAX 1103s and I've got it with a ghost receiver. Uh, this one is obviously the LARC motors and I've got it with an Express LRS. And this, so this is that new Happy Model receiver. This is just beautiful. Um, I should have taken a little shrink wrap off, uh, but I left it on for kind of dur durability. But this has got that little ceramic chip antenna. You can see it in there. and. It just builds up so nice and tight and clean, and that's just it's just beautiful. And the um, RC link for me in my backyard has been fantastic. Um, even kind of when I go behind the house a little bit, um, it's been really nice. So, um, nice part about with these twin builds is I can compare things um, directly back to back, and that's pretty important because these motors are actually very very similar. I think if I had to describe the difference between them. Uh, the LDARC have a slightly different power band. Um, unfortunately, it's a slightly less manageable power band, but it's got a little bit more top end. When you give this a uh, full punch with the LDARC motors, it just has a little extra stream, scream to it versus the AMAX motors. Uh, the AMAX motors are fantastic, um, yeah, but they just have probably a little less top end, but I do think they're a little bit more efficient than the LDARC motor. Um, and then I did have to change the um, the idle. So with the LDRC motor, um, I think I've got it at like 7.5. And with the AMAX motor, it's up 9, maybe even 10, I think 9, um, to get them kind of a similar uh, sort of feel at the low end. I think if I had to um, say like, you know, which of these motors would I recommend overall? I'd probably go with the Amex because for me they're a little bit more tried and true in terms of how long I've flown them. I think I like the power band down low just a tiny bit better. Um, but the big difference here though is with the LDARC motor, there is a link down below in the description where you can actually buy these motors versus the Amex. These are gone. Um, you just can't get them anymore. So for me that's pretty exciting because now I have a list of components that I can actually recommend uh, top to bottom build with this, you know, with the Warpig 115 millimeter frame, which is specifically designed for these 2.5 millimeter or 2.5 inch gem fan props. These are 2512, obviously tri-blades. Now with this motor that's available, it comes in at a good weight, 3.8. Um, they, they are nice and smooth. Um, again, like on the low end of the power band, I think maybe slightly less uh, intuitive in terms of that power band, but it, it's totally um, 
I think you just get used to it. If I'm not bouncing back and forth between the quads, I think you just get used to it and this would be uh, feeling fine. So then to get, you know, these these um, gem cue boards, J-E-H, J-H-E-M-C-U boards, 16 by 16s, um, both of mine have been fine. Um, there is some weirdness when I flash these to the latest beta flight, and I'm not sure if that's just the latest beta flight, but there's some things that come up like where you have an option to change something, but you can't actually change it. Like if you look at the receiver tabs, if you want to put the filtering, or the smoothing on which channels, um, you, it, it, the default that's on there from the little drop down is roll and pitch, but then you try and change it to roll pitch yaw and throttle, and then it, it doesn't save. It also does some weird things on the filtering uh, when you're going into your PID tuning. So on the filtering tab down the bottom, there's some options for, uh, it's like the Q width percent and things like that. And um, there's two of the values that are at zero. And if you try and change them, it doesn't seem to stick. Um, and I'm not sure if that's particular for this board or if it's uh, better flight in general, but the board flies fine. Um, and so, they're cheap too. They're light, they're cheap, 30 bucks, and they work well for 2S. Um, so this particular build, um, dry weight, the way it built up with an XT30, 37.4 uh, grams. So kind of comes in at a nice weight. Uh, the one part on here that's, uh, I don't know if I'd call it a recommendation. Um, these are the cheap cameras. These are those OV, um, LDARC motor, or sorry, camera, um, and it's it's fairly inexpensive one, um, but they're very light, they've been durable, they're good enough. I think if you want a little bit sharper image, you know, better image than, you know, going with the, that Caddx Ants light camera is the better way to go. Um, that's a little bit more fragile camera, slightly heavier, but um, then I've got just that, uh, Nameless RC Nano VTX because it's so small it fits in there. But anyways, for me, this is pretty exciting because um, I'm actually placing an order for more of these. There is a, so other downside, I guess, first to AMAX, you're giving up a little bit of efficiency. So on this motor, if you go crazy, you're probably gonna dump the cells before four minutes. And that's specifically on the little 2S uh, 300 mAh batteries. They do have the new, um, I see them listed, but I don't think they're available yet, but there's a new um, 2S cell from GNB. It's the Yellow Jackets, so those higher C rating to 90 C rated, and those are at a 380 milliamp. That might be the go-to battery for this. I'm not sure if they're heavier. If they're heavier, maybe it might not be, but these motors actually towed around those um, 450s pretty well, but you're just gonna get more noise because you're using more throttle. Um, Noise-wise, at top end, these do kind of scream a little bit more than I like. So there is that, but I mean, that's just the nature of it. If you have more power, um, then you're gonna have more noise. And But with that extra power, it's definitely a little bit more uh, throwable and works really well. I am gonna be, obviously I gotta beat them up for a while, see how they do long-term, but um, other people have really liked these. And so I think this is kind of a nice, um, I wish I had tested them, with the formal testing but you know backyard flight feels good i don't have um any dvr right now but i'll, I'll get some dvr when I've got some uh better lighting and um get link up some good runs um other conclusions on motors um these get bar c1202s just they aren't working for me um they're little wobble goblin motors i don't know what it is about it but i think this is kind of what Rugi's kind of found with, he likes these really flat motors um, for the way they produce the power and also because they're cooling, they stay cool, so you know efficiency stays good, but I can tune these all I want. I can't quite get the little wobble out of them, even when I get some nice balanced props on them. There's a little something funny with these motors. And also, they just don't have the same punch, top end punch as the 1103s. Um, they are very controllable, they're nice and precise. I think they control the prop well, but they're just lacking a little on the top end. And also the bigger problem for me really is I just can't, I can't get it tuned, which is unfortunate because they look like pretty nice motors. And unfortunately for me also, I spent whatever it was, like 50 bucks or something, 60 bucks to get five of them. So um, I might try to do something with that else with them, like put them on three inch or something like that. I don't know, I'll figure that out. 
Do the other motor I have on test, I don't have conclusions yet. Um, this is the Pyrodrone motor. So this is the 1103.5. These are bigger, heavier motors. Um, but I figured, and, and this, these are 1S, and these are, I think, 12,000 kV? Yeah, 12,022 kV, which is awfully specific. And they come in these ridiculous, gaudy pyrotrone colors, but I don't know, look at that thing. It's ridiculous. Anyways, they um, don't feel super notchy. They're definitely powerful, though. I definitely like them better than the FPV cycle um, 1202.5 motors. I've never tried the 1303 because I can't find them anyways, but I can't find them. Um, so I don't know if they're any better than that. But I do need to compare them a little bit back to back with uh, um, uh, the Flywoo Robo 1202.5s. I think these are probably, I'm, I'm very confident actually that these are going to have better top end than those Flywoo Robos. I think there's going to be a little open question about how well they control uh, the prop and how controllable they are. Part of that is when I'm flying this, I, I feel like I'm a little bit behind with these, um, but I think that might be the receiver with the RXSR in here versus now I'm, I've kind of gotten used to and spoiled by Crossfire and Express LRS. And so I'm not sure if it's kind of the motor not controlling the prop enough or it's just my latency in my RC link that makes me feel like when I'm flying this, um, I can fly it well, but I feel like I'm just kind of back on my heels a little bit rather than being able to attack. So, but those are on test um, and they're promising. So the my logic with these motors was, um, with with the 1s on the three inch prop on the 3018 prop my biggest complaint about them was not being able to manage the prop and less so about like flight time efficiency and so i figured go against the grain in terms of what how i've usually been approaching things with trying to get the weight down and actually seeing if i could take advantage of a heavier um just more motor just throw some more motor on it and see what happens and so far, I like it. Um, I do need to throw a Express LRS on here and um, see how they go. But anyways, so that's in the works. But initial conclusions, I think we have a motor for 2S, uh, for 2S 2.5 inch. And it's an oldie, but a goodie. Um, and I kind of figured I'd go back to it too, because of like so many of the newer motors, they got these shiny like unibody bells and this and that. But it seems like while doing that, they forgot the basics in terms of putting some good magnets in there, keeping the air gap tight, making it notchy, and just some basics of quality. And hopefully LDRC doesn't discontinue these anytime soon. The one other thing I am curious about these, they make a version in a slightly lower KV, 6,500. I think that KV might actually be usable on 2S um, based on these, because these I would, I would be okay with giving up a little bit of the top end actually. Um, but I'm a little bit scared to just kind of buy a whole set of those if they don't quite pan out because I'm already kind of like blowing my motor budget 10 times over. All right, long rambling video here, but kind of excited. Um, and, you know, come back and check it out, check out some uh, DVR once I post that up. All right, until next time, cheers.